this video you see on the right hand side i just made the video and i want to quickly document how i made that video using CapCut, the mobile video editing software so i'm going to record how i walk from my living room my house and then i walk straight into the laptop in the laptop is outside i'm in a park and then i walk walk towards the camera and take out my gopro gimbal okay so how did i do that let's get back in to cap cut okay i'm going to start a new project click on the plus button to start a new project and then i'm going to pick out the videos okay there'll be two videos one is outdoor and one is indoor right outdoor is the one that's going into the computer so my outdoor is this one let's take a look at it first walk there you go i'm walking across and then i go up the hill and take out my gopro gimbal that's the first clip and i'm going to bring it in i'm going to say add add so i add a new video clip into cap card okay, now i'm going to trim the before i bring in the second clip i'm going to trim this clip just, just before i walk in here, here. Back a bit, not there. Bit. Tap on this part and select split. Okay, so it's in the two. Then select the first part, which is the one, and I press on delete. Okay, so my my first layer of video is ready. I am going to put a second layer on the indoor shot. To do that, I have to use overlay. Another layer of video overlay. So I'm gonna select overlay, overlay, and then ask me add overlay. Okay, add, on, add overlay now, which, which is my indoor shot. I have a few, I did many many times until I got it right. So the third time is correct. Let's take a look first. Okay, take a look. Okay, watch. I put a laptop on the table and then find a green color. Fill up the whole screen so the, the laptop I, I go to google and find green color and fill up the whole screen this is my living room my house i walk forward there i'm holding something watch and then i walk behind my laptop and i stay there for a while for a few seconds and then i will, will walk up yes okay so this is the second clip indoor okay i'm gonna tap on add i have the main layer on top and then the overlay below Okay, overlay is the one with the green screen laptop. First thing is, I have to make the overlay layer fill up the whole screen. So how to do that? I have to select the overlay and then use two fingers and enlarge. I can feel a vibration when it's full screen. Okay, the, the phone will go. The, the okay, I'm gonna start from here. Walk in. Walk in. Right. The front part there, when there's nobody, I'm going to I'm going to split. Tap on split. And the front part, I don't want. So tap on delete. Now let's bring the overlay to the front all the way. Okay, there you go. So straight away, I walk in. And then walk behind the laptop. Okay, now, now it's time to remove the green. Remember this this green on the laptop. I, I place the laptop on my table on Google. I search for green screen, nineteen twenty times ten eighty. Then Google will give me all the images that have this size. It fits my computer screen nicely. Nineteen twenty times ten eighty. So now I'm going to remove the green. How? Tap on the overlay layer and then look for this command called tool. This tool called, this tool called 
There you go. Chroma key. Okay. Chroma key. Once I type chroma key, I will see a circle there. The circle is telling me to select which green I want to be. You see my green is Okay, that was a color picker. Now I have to select intensity. I'm going to move this lever up and down, right? If I move too much, you see, it will spill over to my keyboard. Okay, let it spill a little bit. That's where the next one comes in. Shadow. Shadow. Type on shadow. I'm going to adjust this lever up and down. Okay, watch. Watch watch the full screen first as I as I move up. Okay. The spillover is removed. Okay, this is the this is the spillover. Spillover to my other my laptop. Okay, so take a closer look. Go back, go forward a little bit more. Yeah, okay, no more spillover. Now let's let's go to the main timeline and play from the beginning and watch. Play. All right. Okay, you notice the magic didn't happen yet. Okay, how to do the magic. So now is to make the Adrian inside the computer synchronize with the Adrian in the house. All right. So I'm going to tap on the first layer because that's what I'm going to adjust. Okay, now watch. I'm going to use two fingers. No, one finger first. I'm going to adjust left. There, that's Adrian. Okay, let's see when, when Adrian walks in. Okay, Adrian walks in here. Okay, a bit too fast. Okay, so I think I, I move, move the time, move the second layer forward a little bit and open up more of this. Okay, because I need to. All right, I'm gonna time them nicely first. Time them. Okay, Adrian comes in not yet, too soon already. Okay, I'm playing. Still too soon. Adrian already climbed up the hill. Oh, oh, I should be going the other way. Let's go the other way. Okay, Adrian walks there. See, too soon. Ah. Uh, so Adrian should be. Adrian, walk here. Okay. Let's let's adjust. Adrian, walk here. Okay, the bottom one is okay. Let's bring it back to the front. It's the top one that I need to adjust. Okay, so let's go back a little bit. Let's open it a little bit more. That's why I want to record this because it takes a long time. Okay, almost there, almost there. So now let's make Adrian the same size. How to do that? Let's bring this one forward a little bit so that I can see both Adrians. Okay, now I tap the top layer and I'm going to adjust adjust the size. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Okay, the legs, the legs are fitting nicely now. I don't need all this anymore. Let's, I must split exactly this point. Exactly split, so it remain aligned. Delete. Okay, and then I bring this back forward. Okay, so let's check the part again. Yeah, okay, nice. So Adrian walks through. 
，对。Ooh, beautiful. Okay, then I don't walk forward in the outdoor. But then, you see, his the camera frame is out. I'm supposed to show the GoPro gim gimbal, but then camera frame is out. So here is the next next tactic. I'm going to play with key frames. Okay, so let let Adrian walk all the way here first, and then he walks forward. So he so he ends up here, right? I'm going to add a key frame on the top layer. Key frame is this diamond shape. Okay, key frame. And then I'll add another keyframe here, here, so that I won't drift so much. Okay, it is from here that I will position myself in the middle. So you can see the green line, that is the outline of the main video, of the outdoor video. So I'm going to shift it to the center. Maybe I want to show the whole scenery first, the whole scenery. Okay, something like that. So people are convinced that I'm outdoor. So you can see the sky. Because at the starting point, you don't see the sky, correct? So it looks like fake. It looks like a picture. There's no nothing moving there. Nothing moving there. So, so if I play from here, it looks like a picture. It looks like green screen, but it's not. I'm actually outdoor. Okay, so now, now I can see the sky and I'm walking closer. Okay. So I show the sky, but now I want to show the GoPro gimbal, which is too small now. So when I reach here, I want to squat down. I'm going to add another keyframe. Okay. So the next moment I squat down, that's the part I want to zoom in again. Okay, zoom in. Go down a little bit. Yes. Okay, so I'm in the center of the frame now. And uh, let's play back how it, from this part. Let's just scrub across. Yep, nice. A bit too far out. Too far up. I want to show the GoPro gimbal. So go down a bit. Yeah, nice. And walk. Oops. <laughs> walk away. Oh, what a nice effect. Zoom. Okay, wow. <laughs> Okay, do you know that this cap cut, there's a logo here, I can delete, select, delete, and it's free. Thank you CapCut for giving us free tools. Okay, that's almost done, but there's one more thing now, if you look closely. If you look closely, look at, look at my keyboard. Okay, the keyboard is, is like flickering because the original green screen is reflected on my keyboard. My keyboard is very shiny and therefore the green screen is trying to get through and therefore it's flickering, you see? It's flickering, can you see? So now here's I'm going to show you that here is where I'm going to show you the next trick. Masking. Okay, this is, you don't have to do it if you're happy with this now, but I'm, I want to do it. So let's select the second layer. Second, second layer, and I'm going to uh, make a copy. Copy tool is behind. Make a copy. It goes behind. So let me bring it down. I want it to sit on the third layer. Third layer. Okay. So now you see three layers. First layer is the outdoor shot. Second layer is the indoor shot with the green screen. Third layer is the one I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to do masking on. The third layer, the new copy, I'm going to remove the green screen. Okay. I Sometimes I hope the green screen is called chroma key. Okay, select chroma key. How to remove? There's no way to remove except to reduce the intensity. All right. Okay, so now you see, you just see the green screen. I want the keyboard to remain like that, no, no flickering. Okay, so just, just tap, tick, and... Next thing, I'm going to introduce a mask, a rectangle mask. Okay, a rectangle mask select. Okay, so you can see a mask here. I just want to mask out the keyboard. 
Let's stretch it to a rectangle. My keyboard is a bit... My frame is a bit slanting, so let's slant the mask. Okay, so I mask out the good keyboard without the flickering. Okay, let's, let's, let's check. Let's, let's press tick to confirm. And move to the part. Hey, why is there? Oh, I must remove all the. I must remove all the keyframe. Okay, keyframe here. Any more keyframe? I know there's a lot of keyframe behind. Oh, no more. Okay, watch. Okay, I'm gonna show the keyboard now. You see, as I play, there's no more flickering in the keyboard. Because I mask it out. Now you see the keyboard has got a lot of green reflection because that's the original color from the screen and it's reflected onto the keyboard. Because the green screen is trying to get through to the keyboard green as well. So now I mask out the keyboard using a second layer or rather third layer. And now my keyboard is clean. Okay, but in reality, we should see the reflection of this video down there. Well, I will not go further than this. I'm just happy with with how it's done right now, right? Look at the final video now. Let's unselect everything and play back. Adrian walks to the corner of the room and walks into this computer outdoors scene. Okay, and he walks forward and reveals his gimbal for GoPro. And he came and he comes back. Okay. Okay. So usually before I post, I will have to align everything nicely. Align all the three clips. There are only three clips. Align nicely. Okay. Why is the cap cut back again? Delete one more time. The next step is to... You know, on an iPhone, I can choose to export in 4K. I can't do that on Samsung Galaxy S10. So Samsung Galaxy and iPhone, they have their pros and cons. But now I will export in 1080p, 30 frames per second. Okay, so I'll just press export and it will export. If you like this video, click the thumbs up and share this video with your friend, right? And if you haven't done so, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave comments or questions. This is Adrian Lee from Adrian Video Image. See you in the next one.